so guys good morning good morning all right so here we're going on you know let's always make sure and do a little introduction because we do know how the day going on on full all right um my choice of transportation this morning dybr i just called it done he heading up the road so right now i'm organizing myself to go to tunapuda i want to get an eye test done right so when we reach out to tunapuda the video will resume all right and i make a little quick stop i tell myself i forget my wallet but thank the lord it's in my bag so we're going so i decided hey let me do over this clip because i don't really want to light up anybody's business that is not the purpose of my channel all right but i visited um an optical shop and i exp i explained myself to the girl saying that um she was very pleasant um i told her that I, that I wanted to get the prescription and also i would like to get the measurements for the glasses all right so she said unfortunately they don't do that and i guessing is that obviously they they want to get the sale for the glasses right so i don't know where to head to from here maybe somebody in the chat might be able to tell me where i could get that service done in terms of the eye test and also get the measurements for the glasses that i could forward to the people that assisted me so i did some shout outs but it was in front of the place so i'm gonna scrap that part of the video all together so let me send out my shout outs again shout out to the people in tulapuna people in the page area people in kirep people up on the foothills up in Tunapuna all right big up all yourself big up to the people in Mount St. Benedict I'm in Tunapuna here right now and I'm looking to go and pass and see my boy Marlon I wanted to see him last week but it didn't work out I had to go and meet Lyndon and that's when we cut the grass so I'm going and check Marlon and see how we going Marlon I'm coming now I'll see you was ringing So people, will you know this place? Alright? I come to see my boy Malan here. Stand up, brother. Malan. <laughs> Malan telling me he has something for me. Look at what Malan giving me here. Nah. It's your but that, one, of this, one of these pans down here that about 200 for sale. Yeah, but that is not yours, Malan. Uh, yeah, that mine. No man, but you can't give me your stuff. Look at clothes I have here for watch. All I clothes. All right. Well, let no. me take one now. No, no. This one is yours. Uh -huh. This is a Dockers. Right. Dockers is expensive. Right? Yeah. That's a Dockers. I have this one. I hardly use this one, but um, <laughs> Tommy Hill figure, extra <laughs> large. So oh if, it, God, if, it, if it can't fit here. Mm -hmm. You can pull the jawstring so mm -hmm. and tie it like that and it will it will fit your yeah, next phone. Yes. Oh you making joke? Yes boy. I got a phone. You notice? Yeah, I notice. Yes man. Somebody bless me up with this. Right, right. Somebody that you know. My you, dad? No. Your cousin, but he don't want me to call his name. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you after, right? Machine. Machine. <laughs> no, 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 no. She's a shit. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, come, let, let me sit down and let me lie my little bit. Yeah, let me sit down and let me record it. Still record it. Alright, so people, uh, we're gonna sit down here a little bit. Spend a little time with my boy. Thanks for the um, clothes, my lad. Yeah, you're welcome, you're welcome. I appreciate it very much. Must say, you had the place looking nice and clean. Of course. Yes, man. That means flawless victory. Mm-hmm. You will play Mortal Kombat. 
Yes, man. Flawless man. victory. Flawless victory. <laughs> Finish him. <laughs> you remember that? We, yeah, I'm joking, man. Yeah. We, um, uh, this thing called, um, so how your brother, right? Lyndon going good, real good. Your brother going good? Uh, tell him, um, I tell him I was going to come and see you this week. Why did you come with your car, boy? We're going to go down to City Mall. Don't worry, you wonder how come the car can pick you up. Yeah, but what happened is that um, I, it had plenty of traffic. So I, that's just why I, pick up. I just carry my number one popo, my sweetheart. Yeah. My, the love of my life. Yes. Dollari. Trinity Mall once a month. Eh. Uh -huh. Yeah, she's going to eat with bros, with the shop. We don't buy anything because things kind of costly now. Yes. Certain places. But like we check out jewelry, check out clothes, check out food, check out you know. You doing you, you window shopping? Window shopping. And yes, stuff. man. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. I used to do plenty of that. And um, mm -hmm. look that pen on right there next to you, Leon. You know, right? That my popo star. You can see. You can see it on. You can you can see her face on it. Very nice, very nice. Popo is your sister, right? Popo is my sister, yeah. So you wanna send a shout out to anybody? I wanna share a, a lot I love my dad, I love my mom, I love my sister. Well, the love the love of my life is my grandmother. I love you. Mm -hmm. I love you. Yes man. I'm a big brother, but you're my real partner. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, looking well, you're looking well. You're looking well. You're yeah. looking well. So we come outside the gala fresh here. I want to get something in the shop here. Hello. So big up to all the people in Page. All right. You good, my brother? I good, I good. Yeah, man, it's good to come out in the sunlight, man. Yeah. One day we had to go down to the city mall and breeze out. Yes, I'll come in the car there and, and we go do that. We go do right? That. We'll check out. We go check out watches. We go check out jewelry. Not buying, you know. Yeah. Check out gold chain. We go check out different things. Yes, man. Nice. We like, we like, we like, we like. Morning, morning. Hi, good morning. How you going? You good? I have to tell you, your interview was fabulous. What, the one yesterday? With, um, with Terry? Yes. Yes, hey, so I want to thank Terry. I want to thank Terry so much for sharing your story, your testimony with us. Uh, meet Miss Gayatri here and she's very touched by her story. All right, um, I urge you to read the comments. People sending in some really, really deep comments to you. All right, so when I finish here, I'm gonna give you a call. All right, so Terry, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks Anup and thanks Mano. I really, really had a good time with all the fellas. So how are you going, my dear? I am fine. All right. You and you. I will do it in a way that people can hear your voice, but I know you might know one to be <laughs> oh on the camera. Gosh. Yes. Well, that's so kind of you. Yes. So it's lovely to see you here this morning. Thank you. Refreshed. Yes. And looking healthy <laughs> and ready for us. Yeah. Yes, how yes. How is the family? My family is doing well, man. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful to hear that. Yes. So, what are we looking forward today too? Just a simple vlog. Um, mm -hmm. uh, went to see if I could get some glasses. Nice. I wanted to just get like the measurements All right. and the so prescription. Hi, right, Tom Alan. I'll yeah. get the head out. Yeah, man. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All the, all the love, all yes. Yeah. Thanks for the um the clothes, for the yeah. clothes. Yeah. Nice, all right, I appreciate it. Nice, right. Thanks very much. Yes, man. So people are jumping on the YBR. I really know where I'm heading. I do know where I'm heading. Alright? So okay, wherever the breeze blow. Okay, go man relax. Go man relax. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright. People, I better jump on this YBR and head out of here pronto. Look at that rain coming. I hope I could beat them. Oh gosh. Alright, so hopefully I'm heading home. Yeah. Alright, so people. I make it home in time. I make it home. I make it home. The rain now started to fall. Ah, so it was a good call to come home. I was hoping I could uh, go somewhere 
We are gonna do a nice vlog, like maybe head up Mount St. Benedict or something, but this is how it is when you're riding a motorbike. So I'm glad to be home. Alright. I'm glad to be home. A little small cup of coffee it's gonna be nice. So maybe I could turn it into a little sip and chat. So no open up funding. So from the looks of it, I ain't gonna be heading nowhere again today. I just go and be based at home. If the weather clears up nicely, which it looking like it is, I will go and take a walk this afternoon. Maybe a nice 30 minute walk. If rain is falling, they have a exercise bike here. I'll definitely use that. All right, I wanna thank Lyndon. All right, Lyndon went and he collected the cups of me from Dendril. So thank you, Dendril. Thank you, Corrine. Big up to your daughter Chelsea. Thanks for printing the cups for me. All right, so people, I have more cups for sale again. All right, the full set of cups they went off well. Then I did 24. I have maybe like about three left from that. I think the six still by Mr. Knockerpot. All right, but I printed yet another 24. And remember, WhatsApp me and I will secure the cup for you, alright? So, thanks for all that has been supporting me with purchasing these cups. I appreciate it greatly. Very, very much. You know, I'm hoping I really need um, to get an apparatus that I could hold, maybe mount my phone onto the motorbike so that we could get some footage while riding the bike. Now, my good friend Marlon and Christine, all right, so big up to Marlon and Christine, they brought me a really nice little camera that could be mounted onto the motorbike. But I'm getting some problems with the with the memory card, right? When I take out the memory card and I insert it into the phone, the phone is not reading the, the memory card. Mr. Nakapot was trying to help me out with it. We try using some of his memory cards and it we weren't able to, to get through it, so it's something that I have to look into, alright? So, Marlon and Christine, thanks once again for all the blessings that you have bestowed upon me and, you know, my family and I, sorry. Yes. Nice relaxing little evening, you know, after the rain, of course, it's get a little heat. Yes. So I have something on my mind and you know I think it's worth sharing. You know unfortunately some people may be stuck in a really negative situation. Alright? Um you're not able to escape the negativity that surrounds you. Alright, it might be in your job, it might be in your home life and how does one coexist with all this negativity around them hmm. first of all you have to be doing a lot of praying you have to be doing a lot of praying all right negativity is something that it interferes with your mind and then it begins to interfere with your physical being your physical body all right i tell you you know this guy that i met yesterday terry you know he was telling me that he doesn't always feel well physically and i could relate to that i could relate to that you know i you know when i when i consider you know sometimes how i was feeling you know like again body pains um, the problem with my feet feeling a tiredness and 
I remember going to Dr. Serain about maybe on about three occasions to to tell him, you know, I'm not feeling well. And he kept on saying, he said, Lasana, your problem is stress related. Alright? Take care of your stress and you will see all these problems will disappear. And Dr. Sunrain is really a great doctor because you know, look at how many tests I did through the clinic, right? They sent me down ultrasound, blood work, and all my results came back excellent. So, you know, immediately, I remember Dr. Sunrain telling me that there's nothing wrong with you. But when you're under stress, people, right? When you're under stress, all kind of things is happening to you. All kind of things. So, you know, if you're in a negative situation, what are some of the things you could do? All right, let me say it's in your home. All right? When you hear reach home, go outside. Go outside, relax. Even if you're living in a concrete jungle, look up in the sky. Look up in the sky. That, that's nature. Right? Let me see. You're having a heated argument in the night time right once again go outside look at some stars look at the moon listen to the crickets right these are all positive things you could do for yourself all right you could go out take a walk exercise right it it does wonders for you right it does wonders for you and as i say you need to be praying surround yourself with positivity as much as you could all right you all right let me say it's a new the workplace and the workplace is the place that is filled with negativity maybe on your lunch time leave the compound take a little drive maybe have your lunch on the outside all right have good friends whatsapp them maybe they could send you a little video maybe you could shoot them back a little video you know all these are things but you need as much as possible you need to extract yourself from negative type environments as i say it's not always possible to do right hmm. but if you're in a position if you are in a position where let me see it's a horrible marriage and you have the means to do it by all means if you all tried everything if you tried everything you tried on your own you tried praying maybe you did counseling and nothing ain't working and you somehow the other could afford it the best thing to do is to get out of that situation that's just my advice, eh? right? I'm not saying that you're not going to try everything, you know. You're going to try your best to, to make the marriage work, right? But if you try everything and it ain't working, you try everything, your wife try everything, vice versa. Like the old people say, you're spinning top and mud. You just have a point in time where like nothing ain't working nothing ain't working and just remember if you want something to work it takes two it takes two your partner can't be trying and you ain't trying you can't be trying and your partner don't want to try so you know hmm Sometimes you think, hey, for the children's sake. People say that a lot, for the children's sake, for the children's sake. But you think the children like that mommy and daddy staying together, but it's constant bickering? They don't like it. They don't like it. And we have to think about the young ones. You can't be subjecting them to that kind of thing all the time, right? But I'll tell you what's really important. 
what is so important is that okay we can make it as husband and wife but you could become friends you could become friends at least you know should the father visit or the mom visit whoever has custody of the kids right or you could become friends let your children see that only being civil with each other you know you reach home hey offer the person a cup of coffee or maybe a sandwich you know let your kids see that hey you know mommy and daddy unfortunately they can't live together but they are friends i think that will enlighten the heart of any child you know so we have to do better people we have to do better we have to do better we have to do better hmm In some nice bird songs. I want to thank everybody that has been leaving such tremendous comments on Terry's video. Right? I hope he's reading the comments. I told him yesterday, I said, listen, a lot of people are going to be commenting. Alright? And True to form, everybody is supporting him. Terry, big up yourself, boy. You deserve it. You deserve it. And Miss Hanifa, this tripod is working really, really well. Really well. So holiday is coming up. <coughs> Excuse me. So holiday is coming up. So holiday is coming up. A lot of nice places that you can carry your kids. The zoo, the beach, the river, to the malls. Just remember to keep a watchful eye, especially if you're going close to water sources. It's happening really fast. In the twinkle of an eye, current pull your child out to see. Be careful in the malls. Alright. You know how the crime situation going in Trinidad. Alright. You may turn your back on your child, you might be on your phone. In the twinkle of an eye, it could happen just like that. Yeah. So be watchful. Your car might break down. Trust me. Use the public services on the bus. Don't let not having a car keep your back. So I want to thank everybody that is be on the live chat Monday to Friday from 6 to 7 all right we had about 130 people this morning in the house all right well definitely it will be more than that because some people come in some people leaving all right a big shout out to Sandy's cup of tea and Mike big shout out to Trini out and about big shout out to Lynn and Batiste Raw Kimberly Badlu, big up to Teenage and Vidya, all right. Sending a big shout out to Trudy Yorker. Thanks for the shout out the other day, my brother. So, oh, a big shout out to Trini Nature Boys, all right. Ah, uh, Salam, taking some of your videos, real good man. Brother, you're, you're full of vibes, you're full of energy. Yes, yes, so big up to Trini Nature, boys. I want to meet all them bad, you know. Big up to my boy, Jason Reaping Warriors. So, yes. So, people, I want to sit down here and board all you to death. All right, so I'm looking to close up this video now. 
is exactly half past 12 and let me see how fast I could cut it up, edit it and get it uploaded to YouTube. This is Mr. Sana sending lots of love, all right? And big up to my boy Stefan, your daddy Steve and your mom, all right? Big up to my cousin Roslyn, all right? Big up to Susie and Allison, all right? So sending lots of love to everybody.